Hello everyone, welcome back to another Age of Empires 4 commentary. I am Beyond, and as always, thank you so much for the support in the past couple videos and the channel as a whole. If you are enjoying this video, please do drop a like, and if you're enjoying the content overall, please do subscribe. It means the world to me, and I can't thank you all for all the, honestly, all the support, and the channel's been growing so fast. It's been really awesome. I'm absolutely loving the community. I'm going to be casting on the 21st in the Rising Empires League, um, so check me out there. I'll tweet it out as well. But let's get right into this video. Um, we have Wham in the red as the English. And over here on the other side, we have Liquid Demu as the Holy Roan Empire in the blue. Both players, incredible streamers. I will leave their links in the description. Demu also has a um, robust YouTube channel as well. Wham, just an Unreal Pro as well. So both, this is going to be a very good matchup. Um, it's really, really nice to see these matchups happen in um, in solo queue, kind of just like seeing two pros kind of battling it out, testing new things out, uh, and kind of going after it once they get into that tournament realm. Now, we do have a man at arms rolling across. Honestly, this is the a, a good solid opening into uh, the HRE, as you just want to get as fast as you can um, them off this gold. Demo being very smart over here, bringing the pellet over to get these to get as much gold as quickly as possible, aka enough gold to actually um, level up. Uh, sorry, to age up. That's exactly what you want. So as you can see, continue to, to inspire these. The man at arms is going to realize that he's going to be having a long trek for himself um, as it's on the back side of the base. So it's going to be close, but I think that the HRE player should be able, Demu should get enough to get that age two before this guy. I mean... Listen, I no shade at all. I'm training for a marathon, and that's what I'm looking like at about mile 13 out here, slowly trudging along. But and I will also switch to this just so you guys can see. I've been getting that comment. I will switch it. Sorry, I didn't do it fast enough. But do we do? We do get the 200. Um, so unfortunately, Wham's not going to be getting as much value as you would like to see um, out of this. And this prelate can just heal right through this, which is just so funny. Ooh, does get a, a cheeky shot off there. There's the Akin Chapel going down in a nice spot. Going to get gold, going to get these berries, and then not a lot of robust room for farms afterwards. But no touching of the um, wood. So I'm maybe from what this place was looking like, I think um, Dean was going to be looking for that Castle Age um, pretty quickly. Um, the English do struggle a little bit. Let's get into the win rates right now. So the HRE in the Conqueror and above, we have... Um, a 54% win rate over 409 games. Uh, it's really because, hold on, I will address that in the corner in a second. Um, it, it's really probably because due to the amount of, um, when they get into that castle age with knights and all that armor, it's really hard for the English to kind of deal with all of that. Um, and the English and the HRE are pretty hard to kill off um, with the repairs um, and everything like that, emergency repairs early on. Um, so it's just one of those things where it's hard to do feudal aggression into them and then that's where the English really shine and then obviously you don't want to go late game against an HRE player which is I think is why this, the win rate skews um, in the Conqueror division uh, to 54% for the HRE. Now in every division overall over 26,000 games this is a matchup heavily played so hopefully this video does well. well we'll see I do see all of you guys low key not subscribing when you're watching and you just keep coming back to watch I see you in the analytics I would ask for you very politely if you could just click the little free button. It's completely free. That's all, all I'm going to say. I know I already mentioned it once in the video, so that's all I'm going to say about that, that topic. I, I'll bring up the stats for you later on. Um, <laughs> I'm completely kidding. I, I hope you could sense the sarcasm through the microphone. If not, we'll have to improve the microphone quality. Um, so the overall win rate there is at 52% win rate. So still um, favored, and I think it's for those reasons I mentioned before. Now we see an Abbey of the Kings. I haven't seen this in a very long time until I started casting in Rising Empires in my first ever time um, with 10-4 Tim. I actually casted three of the finals games and they all had Abbey of Kings. So I saw this game on Wham's channel and I figured I'd bring it to you guys because I thought it was super interesting. I don't see the end of it, so I don't know who wins, um, but I did see this landmark and that's why I wanted to cast it. Um, I thought it'd be super interesting. Two great players as well. Now, the rationale I heard from Wham and other high-level players is that um, this is good when you're going to be facing knights. You know that knights are going to be coming, and that's like kind of the tech the HRE kind of uses. They're going to go right into knights uh, late game. 
Um, so it's one of those things where it's good into anything that you're going to be dealing with knights. So like the HRE, the Rus, the French, um, it does provide that healing bonus and you're probably going to be going up to that castle age. So it provides a little bit of protection as well. Um, you can harass a little bit. Um, we do have two horsemen coming out for Demu over here. And you can see the stable's already coming out, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was transition to Knight as well. We do see all the, no more um, gold coming out for Demu. And as you can see, the breakdown's there, there for you guys. I saw the two comments in the last couple of videos, so I, I promise I'll try to remember as much as I can. Um, but I also really appreciate the comments. Thank you. Keep them coming. Um, and honestly, let me know in the, in the description if you've ever built the Abbey of Kings this season. And if you think it's useful or not. So that's the topic of discussion. Uh, in the comments. If you could, I would really appreciate it. Um, you can always say a nice thing in front of your comment as well. It's never, it's never gonna hurt my feelings to see lovely things. You can also say something um, mean. I, I mean, I can also, you know, I can just delete the comment. I do have that power. It's a bit censor, it's if, uh, a little bit censorship, but you know what? If you're mean, you're gonna be mean. So that's what it is. We do have, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop trying to get these jokes off. And we're gonna see a lot on stone. So Demu just being like, I need to get this stone. Does the king get value? Does get one, uh, get one villager as well. And now this one spearman is going to be able to come over here and going to be healing from the king. What? What's the aura actually? Is it only out of battle? Um, no, just nearby units. Just heals every two seconds. Where's this heal? Let me see it. It must be out of battle. The man in arms coming back. There it is. There's the heal. For some reason, there we go. Here comes the heal. This is probably, this is kind of nice. I can see why um, Rams been digging it. I mean, these, they need some help though. The king needs to stay with them. But also, you don't want to lose this king. It's a big investment. That's one of the reasons why I think it, it needs a little bit of a tuning, a little bit of a buff. Um, it's a huge investment. Uh, if we scroll back right here, 150, 150. I think on the pup, it got reduced to 120, 120, which I think makes sense. It's a hell of an investment. And if you lose it early on, this landmark is super, super tough. That being said, this landmark also provides that healing bonus around this as well uh, by times three. So this is not mobile, but by times three. So it's really hard to dive the English um, with these, with this landmark up and running because you have to dive their army as well. We do see uh, Demu's horseman just running right past that army of whams, not really caring at all. Here's another horseman as well with the, with the king. The unfortunate part about the king is that they can't heal. He can't heal out and about. That could be maybe too busted. Maybe that might be one of those things. Uh, we do see Wham with a lot of villagers right now in gold. So I'm uh, guessing they're going to go for a castle age and get those knights out pretty quickly. One villager is sacrificed. These horsemen are doing a lot of damage. But now this one knight over here. Another villager is going to be sacrificed right now. There they go. But now we should have a enough of a cluster to actually put a stop to this. The knight's just cruising over here. Just saying hi to the boar really quick. Um, but these horsemen are going to be, they're going to be looking to get some damage off because they're pretty weak right now. You can't go back and heal these things unless you go back to the prelate and then pull the prelate off of a uh, resource production. But it looks like the is going to get out with all five of them. Sorry, I'm just kidding. There's a little, there's a cheeky little scout in there hanging out. Um, but scouts are super important, especially on this kind of map, uh, with these stealth forests. You don't know what's in over here. So Demu, without this scout, could be running into this, but he'll at least see this now, right? Like, so this is why he's already uh, curving over here. He sees what's coming. If you didn't have that scout in there, you wouldn't be able to see it. So we do have the King's Palace, which is a, a pseudo, um, essentially a pseudo um, town center. So it's one of the, I do like this build order for Wham, honestly, because it goes one, one of those things where like, he's transitioning into knights um, with the King. He has the healing R, so he can provide early pressure as well. But dropping down the King's Palace means he's going into a second TC, but also while going up into Castle Age. So it's a unique thing that the English can do. Uh, as you can see, Demus already has on two town turns as well. So I wouldn't be surprised to see, and I was going to say, there's the cathedral going down. A classic. Let's see where the relics are at. We have one over here. One over here, which is probably going to be his. This one's a little bit farther away. Middle of the map. We have two protectors already on it from Wham, and then we have one way over here. So it looks like, unless Demon wants to fight over this middle one, it's going to be two relatively easy ones, and then that third one he's going to really have to work for. Um, I do love the, the standing watch over here, and then this is going to be a very safe um, King's Palace. It just protects the whole base. It's just a nice aura 
because over here you have the Abbey of Kings, so if they attack from over here you have the healing, and over here you have the two TCs raining down uh, fire. We have one little cheeky farm that is totally okay, it's just going right over there, um, but I know for all of you that have OCD, that's probably going to drive you nuts, but we won't focus on it too much. Not We won't do too much of focusing on this little this little spot. Um, but what I know is he's doing, this was uh, early game, so that they could collect more uh, food at the town center. Now we do have this little brigade over here still hanging out. Still just hard chilling. Um, I do love all of this pr pressure. If you're against the HRE player and you're the lower levels, protect these relics. An HRE player without these relics is not in a good spot. Taking a quick sip of coffee so I can keep through this cast. As I mentioned, I'm marathon training, um, so I am exhausted. But luckily, it doesn't impact my voice at all, so all I have to do is keep it keep awake for this entire cast, which I think I can I think I can handle. We're already 11 minutes in. We're cooking. We got some we got some okay jokes going on. I, w I wouldn't say they're 10 out of 10, but they're they're not bad. So here's the men at arms, Vanguard men at arms. So doing his absolute best, but that knight is going to put an end to that. Two knights actually, a, a great little escort, and then we have also. Um, this horseman over here trying to do some damage, but now the knight's involved a clean shot on the side there And these knights are gonna be able to clean this up pretty quickly. Yeah, knights compared to horsemen are It's a different animal. We already have three knights in the field and Demu already has two So it's gonna be a knight battle as I mentioned before and this king Oh It's stolen Oh my god Demu steals the king! Oh, look at him rejoicing, running it back in. Stay nice and safe. That is too funny. Can the prelate heal him? Oh my goodness. And then it heals as well. That That is absolutely amazing. Well, you know what? I usually don't clickbait titles too, too much, but you know. <laughs> A stolen king, stolen king. That's, I mean, we're gonna have to tease that somehow. I, I do need help on my tiles though. My tiles, I feel like, are hit or miss. But I, I, more importantly, how does this work? So now he can get he healed by the prelate, right? Like, let me, let me see. Go heal him, Demo. Go heal him. And now, and then Wham is gonna can can Wham create another one? He can. Okay. So it does it it does not bug out like that. That'd be wild, huh? If you just like stole the king and then just kept it in the middle. Um, and they're getting healed somehow. So is the king already back? I don't think so. I don't see the king back already. And then we have a uh, engage back here. Demo being very, there's a prelate healing the king. I love this from Demo. And now it's three to seven, but Demo has a knight, has a king. So the kings are going to go at it. It's a battle of kings in the HRE versus England once, once the next king has been produced. Not enough resources yet. Um, but it will be coming out for sure. And here we go in the stealth forest. And that one's going to be cleaned up pretty quickly. And honestly, um, Demo doesn't even mind these trades because he has this king that can just heal this mo this uh, mobile army. Let's see. We got we have one relic in. And we have another relic. Do we have... What happened to the other relics? This one is gone. It looks like... Did Wham take any? Wham took one. One so far, and one's over here. One's still over here. So I believe Demo's going to be having... Um, oh, there's another one. Another a relic was uh, stashed in the outpost. Okay. So perfect. So we have some... Oh, no, don't lose that king. Don't lose that king at all. Ooh, the king's going very low. This might be a time for Wham to snipe this king out right now, is when it's this low. But the rest of the knights are going to get uh, cleaned up. Wham's putting a lot of pressure on the front end, though, which is really nice. Already up to eight knights. Now Dean was going to be producing four more in production, so it could get it's starting to get to another level. Um, but I can't believe that king was stolen by a wall. -wall. That is absolutely electric. Now we have this band of brothers back here in arms. Here they go. They're going to start to mess up this field. And are they going to get one? They do. They do not get one. And the king goes down. There goes the king. Long live the king. The HRE had one for a very short amount of time, and now only England's going to have one. And there we go. It's almost poetic that Wham takes out the king and then produces his own. So there's never two kings out in the field. We we do love that for just perpetuity. For for reasons unbeknownst to us, it's, it's, a, it's just better that way. Wham has a large stockpile of these knights. 
And this king's going to be able to join and heal up all of these. Or he can just go back to the Abbey of Kings and just heal up anyways. So now I'm really, really deciding between if I name it after this landmark. Because I've never seen, I still haven't seen this landmark. But it's looking like it's pretty good when you have a lot of knights. Um, it just makes them like kind of worse versions of French Knights, but the thing is, is if you can get, like, everything's a worse version of French Knights, so like, that's not, that's something to, to sneeze at, and then on top of that, if you become better than generic Knights, like the HRE Knights, I mean, they do have extra upgrades and stuff like that, but it's still incredible with the healing, so that way you really do gain a, a nice advantage. We're up to 11 and up to 13 for Demu side, but we do have six Spearmen in the in the play into the stealth force they go we're gonna get a lot of charges though on the back end side the thing about night v night combat though is that's just a lot of chasing and wham knows if he doesn't get actually caught or engaged he can just run back to the healing and he should be good to go that's the best part where is this king though king's very where where is where is the all right we're gonna are we have an engage or no no, I don't think Wayne wants to engage, honestly. Just keep those away. And then there we go. Back to the Abbey of Kings. Get a nice little heal up. Nice little touch up. Um, just You can go right back if you want. Oh, that knight's going to go. Nope. So that, essentially, without it going down, that, that means that knight is essentially going to live again. Right? So where's... I just still don't know where the king is, though. He must be somewhere. So Wayne's are at three relics, which is absolutely insane. Demo's only on two. So if you can do that for relic, relic control... That's very, very impressive. And the king, here he comes. Here he comes to heal up all of his troops. Wham is going down with a nice forward wall over here. And I really do like this. Wham is behind by four knights, but hasn't lost any because of the healing, because of the healing of the Abbey of Kings and the king itself. So once this king starts roaming around with this army, they're just going to passively just top up, which is going to be super, super nice for Wham. And... Demu has a very, very nice, but only one up, two upgrades over here. Wham has none. So at this point, if Wham can start to get upgrades as well, do we have a blacksmith down? I think there, there it goes. So read my mind. Here comes the blacksmith. We have stone out, um, outcropping being uh, stone being taken, probably for another town center slash more keeps as well. Um, these poor villagers are going to be absolutely annihilated when these knights see them. Um, but that's okay. Only this one's probably going to go down, I'm guessing. Right? So these two are going to skirt out this way. And this one's going to be sacrificed. There they go. But these knights are still pretty low. I still think that this one with the ribeye on the shoulder is going to get absolutely throttled. They are in the range of network of castles. Can they make it home? We, we do lose. We lose. No! The part of the Red Seas has come. They're going to get in. She's going to get in. She decides to not go in. Why? <laughs> no. Oh, I was heavily invested in that story arc. But that's okay. The knight's going right in, but it looks like we have a counter engage over here. So these knights versus these. But the English town centers are going to be pumping out damage. And with these spearmen, it's going to be really nice. One knight does pop out, but here comes the spearman. Demon does not have any spearmen, but going to be producing 10 knights on the back end of this. Absolutely wreaking havoc but it looks like wham is doing the exact same on the other side of the map wreaking havoc as well but his are healing as well with his king so wham killing 26 villagers demu not able to find the same but oh no they're gonna be running into this which is not good we're gonna be going down with one of the knights they barely those those large clad butts barely fitting through that small small little hole there here we go one knight is left behind though unfortunately and tasked with apparently chopping a field down essentially just farming that's what that what that's what that guy's doing right now currently just farming um with his mace which is pretty inefficient for farming this wall is not going to go up in time unfortunately let's see if demo's going to see this this large band of villagers going down as well but bam bam wham is doing so much this is gonna be so much damage oh no demo just not paying attention for a half a second loses so many 43 villagers have gone down and the knight counts are still very similar. And also, Wham has 24 spearmen chasing this mass around. Where are the rest of the spearmen? Here comes the more knights, more knights, doing so, so much damage. But at this point, where... So we have we have 12 here. Where the Where's the rest of the squad? They are just hanging out back here, it looks like. But Wham's doing so much damage, so much red dead down over here. 
Demo able to survive that way, but there's a whole other wave right now. I don't think this is the, the fight that you want, though, Wham. Um, but Wham at this point just going, you know what? Any damage I can do to your economy is worth it. And there it goes. Even more villagers going down. Wham just trading knights. I don't think this one was the best trade ever. But still, so much going down. 48 villagers killed. And Demo on the other side... I mean, Demo does have the 11 knight advantage, though, with that unfortunate mis... Uh, I don't know if it was a misclick, but just unfortunate pathing there for Wham. Demo also building, but now a forward f keep going down right in the face of Demo, And here they come. Here comes the Vanguard arms. Still not upgraded, which is hilarious. Um, but this is not being seen. That unfortunate tree line is just making a little bit of a blockade. Now in the stealth force, we have 19... Spearman, so even if the knights did see this, they couldn't do anything about it. And once they see this, it's going to be really, really annoying uh, for Demu. We do have the cheeky two gates as well, so that the villagers can pop in and out all they want. Um, and now there's enough knights to kind of defend back here. So now these two knights trying to get a little bit of damage. Not going to happen. But this keep is now down, so there's no more. So going to have to move over to this side over here. But here they come as well. They're gonna really stop this goal, They're, and Wham's gonna go. You know what? You can't go, you can't attack this force. It's the all night force. There's no there's no archers here for Demo. There's nothing to counter. Just this pure. It's just the perfect counter, and he's gonna continue to make them. And now he's gonna also build knights in the back end. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see if ooh, Demo dropping the palace of Swabia. Where is it? It's going down. I can't click on it unfortunately. It's going down back here to defend 700, 700 bucks worth of gold. I don't know if that's 100% worth, but again, these two players are so much better than me that I'm going to say it's absolutely worth, and we'll see from there. Wham is in such a good spot, though. The trebuchet is coming out. At, as England, you can build um, military out of keeps, so that forward keep then turns into, which is why this White Tower Rush is so annoying. Um... But this, this force, another keep going down. It's going to try to force Demu to engage onto this. Demu is now into the Imperial Age. Going to shift these back over here. And if these knights want to tangle, they're going to have to go through spears, which is not what they want to do in the slightest. So this forward keep going down again. And all it's going to take is these to defend it. And you're going to see that even more annoyance. And here they come. But this is not what you want. They're just so protective over here. And great micro here by Wham going back and forth, back and forth, really securing this keep. And once this keep goes down, it's going to be really, really tough for Demu to kind of do anything about this. Wham playing super, super smartly right now. There is a king on the battlefield. Don't know where he is. Seems to be a bit of a slacker, if we're being honest. Um, where He's not even supporting the lads anywhere. Is he in here? I don't think so. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Wham pop a little um, wood line maybe back here for safety. Um, so someone's healing. It's the monk. So we don't have... Where is the king? King, 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 king. I, you know what? I can't be asked. Is it back here? Over here? There he is. Finally getting involved, the king is. Then we have a quite large force diving back here. The Like I said, Wham's just going to be looking for demon to engage. And that's all he wants. He's going to pull these back and try to get them into the spear line. Here they go. Demu has to pull back again, but now we're into, we do have some land sharks coming out, which is going to be great for this front line, but there's enough knights here to clean them up if he sends them in without any cover, which is what he's doing right now, and there goes the knights, they clean them up right away, the land sharks a little bit squishier, and now they can make the switch, the wall all going down again, can Demu get a good value again? Nothing. He gets nothing from that time around, last time he got a whole king, a whole empire in one wall all, but unfortunately that won't even be enough and it looks like Wham is in, in the driver's seat right now, pushing down. He has a fully protected trebuchet. He's going to be taking down this town center. And this other forward keep, If it, once this goes down, it's going to be really tough sledding. We have a villager count of 82 to 64. At just unreal play by Wham. Now we also see the mangonels coming out in response to these land shakes, which is just, this is such, this is such good play by Wham. So clear and concise, takes down that town center. As you can see, there's some healing going down from not only the monk, but also the king. And they're going to go after this Akane Chapel next. And once these farms go down, that's pretty much all she wrote. Oh, I can move it down over here again. Sorry, I didn't, flick, I didn't flick it back. 
but hopefully you saw a little bit of everything. We have a Bombard coming out here for Liquid Demu, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see the GG called once this army goes down. If this army goes down, they'll call it. The Palace of Swabia going back here, and it acts as a town center. So I got a mistake. I, I didn't realize it wasn't the fort, uh, the fortress version of this. Um, so here we go. So that's going to be going down as well. Just focusing that down so that they don't catch up with the all the villagers. Because that thing pumps out villagers. So I made a mistake in the call. But that's okay. And now this is going to be fully protected. These knights are getting absolutely obliterated by this spearman front line. And that... Oh no... Demu's losing all those knights and has nothing else to replace them. Only has 76 gold to his name. The king is still alive. Those land snakes were not enough. And we do see the bombard over here, but that's going to be absolutely tossed once these knights get surrounded. There they go. Bombard down. And that is going to be, I believe that's all she wrote, honestly, at this point. We have even more units rallying over here. We now have archers coming forward. We have this going down again, and this palace probably getting a few. It's just, it's just trying to, to hold up the best it can, but it can't do anything against this mass. Still, twelve knights in the mix, and they're being healed constantly. And all these valuable units. There's the GG. So, wow, a king was taken. We have Wham using the Abbey of Kings slash the Abbey of Memes and making it work. It looks like Abbey of Kings can be useful when you're going to be going knights. And unfortunately, Demo just did not have enough to deal with that mass of spearmen is what Wham had on the backside as well. So Wham playing super, super well. That was an unreal game. Let me guys, besides what you guys think of the Abbey of Kings, let me know in the description of what the content you want to see for the next month is. We have about a month until season five. I'm still going to be doing the 2v2 series with my friend John. But besides that, let me know what you want to see specifically games. I know you guys will be prepping to see if you can get to that highest rank so you can get those sweet, sweet rewards uh, for next season, those sweet statues in the middle of your town centers. So just let me know what you want to see, if it's a specific civilization, a specific matchup, um, and just, yeah, whatever you guys want to need. And so if you did enjoy, please do subscribe. I really appreciate all of you, and I hope you have a wonderful night.